started cleaning this bad boy up a little bit. Duh. Gonna get it on the ground here off of the engine stand because it's super wobbly. That's, that's not safe, kind of freaks me out. So I'm gonna get this off, uh, clean it up real good, get, try to get the manifolds out. There's a couple broken bolts in there, maybe try to get those out. Um, yeah, in other words, got uh, some new wheels for the new car. Oh yeah, by the way, for those of you who follow, that, follow the Instagram, got a second Ventura. So this motor, I've decided it's going in that car, and my 4L80E uh, is going in that car as well. And then it's gonna have those wheels on it, so it's gonna be more of a pro touring. And then this is our rest of mine, I should say, and this is gonna be my 70s looking. This is gonna be more of my stock 70s car. I can't really see. Well, I'm gonna get to work. All right, so update. Got the manifolds off. I was able to get one of the broken bolts out, but there's still a broken bolt on both sides. And then at the end there, that I gotta get out. Working on taking the front accessories off here. Take off the compressor. Finally get the clutch fan off. Remove the water pump. Get down to the bare block. All right, so I got the manifolds off. I think I just showed that in the last video. But I got the front accessories off here. Um, sucked. Just took the whole water pump off instead of trying to take the fan off. All right, got the heads off. Well, I got a head off. Um, Let's just check out the walls here. They look pretty good. At, the lighting's not really good at this angle. But they look pretty good. My fingernail doesn't catch anything on the walls. Pretty smooth. Um, none of the pistons are blown up, so that's good. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put new rings on it or just send it. Once I get the oil pan off, I'm gonna check. See how the bearings look and how the connecting rods look, and if those look fine, I'm just gonna fucking send it, uh, blow it up, and then rebuild it. All right, next head. Go. All right, uh, probably last update for the day here. Got both sides off. Walls on everything looks fine. Uh, I'm gonna buy uh, one of those top plates. So I can lift it back up, throw it back on the stand here. Uh, flip it over, pull the oil pan. See what the bearings are looking like under there. Um, yeah, see what the bearings are looking like. Connecting rods look straight and everything. Turn it over a couple times, you know. But the heads, I mean, they're all right. Gonna clean these up. Cleaning this one up right now is cleaning up pretty good. Dude, the inside of these are super clean. This one was super clean. Holy cow, dude, there's like no gum on this one. And I didn't clean, I didn't touch this. Even in the corners, there's like nothing. So I'm really happy about these heads, dude. Can't wait to run these. So assuming the lower end looks just as good as the heads did, I should uh, 
start rebuilding on this thing. A couple weeks here. Yep. Got a mess to clean up. Probably clean up. Um, get some solution for the parts cleaner. I want to get something like biodegradable. I've heard good things about uh, this stuff. I might just run this in here, but I heard this is kind of uh, bad for aluminum. But everyone says, uh, as long as you don't leave your aluminum stuff sitting in there, it's fine. But steel stuff, it just takes all the gum right off. I mean, these are coming pretty clean here. Like, I haven't really put much time into cleaning these. Yep, so I'm gonna work on these for a little bit, clean up, and this is this is actually the last video of the day. So I know it's a uh, Christmas Christmas week here. Um, this will probably get posted up after Christmas. Hold on. Yep, so I'll probably post this video up after Christmas. Um. Adiós.